What's up, everyone? How's it going? How's your Wednesday? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. How are you guys? Thank you, David Corey. How's it going? Hello, Dingus, Chingus, Bungus. <laughs> Hi, Geek. Hi, Via. Hi, Junglist. Hi, Upro. Hi, Root. Hi, Sulan. <laughs> Mueller, silly. Zimno, if so, dobra. Hi, Sue. Hi, Pussycat Doll. You like your chicken, huh? Oh, thanks. Um, I'm a little under the weather today. I don't know why. I just feel like sleepy. <laughs> Thank you, Mia, for continuing your sub. 15 months. Whew. <laughs> Can't believe, believe you're not sick of me yet. Mr. Frosty for gifting us up. How are you doing, Mr. Frosty? Yeah, but I'm not a fan of chicken. I don't know. Like, I know how to make it to for it to be good, but even the best of chicken is still worse than mediocre beef, in my opinion. <laughs> I mean... Running probably has something to do with me being tired, but um, it's not just running because I feel more tired than I should. <laughs> and I did take a, an Advil because I had like a bit of a headache coming on, so I don't know. I feel like maybe I'm mildly sick. Hello, Gammy. I had steak for dinner tonight. It was amazing. If you've never had a steak made on a Traeger, you have never had steak. <laughs> it's It makes a pretty dramatic difference. Maybe it's just some kind of a planet and some kind of a retrograde or something. Because <laughs> I feel blah. But I know you guys always make me feel better, so that's why I'm here. Hello, Nick. I am, yes. Oh, I hydrate plenty. I drink, like, probably more than I should of water. Thank you. Yeah, I just had it in a braid, so it's a little wavy. MRFRSTY donated $5.20. Holy Quarter Pounder with Cheese, Batman. It's Blemily Oom, the greatest streamer in the universe. Dang it, Mr. Frosty. <laughs> it is... Uh, 80 degrees right now. It's 8 p.m. and 80 degrees. It's been pretty hot this weekend, but not the hottest it's been. Ooh, whoa. Not the hottest it's ever been. So. We got a minute and a half left on the hype train. I... That's the thing, I did. I passed out at like 9 or like even before 9 p.m. yesterday. Then I woke up around 11 and I like went back to sleep. And then I woke up at 8 a.m. today, so I almost slept for 12 hours. 
So I don't know why I'm tired. It doesn't make any sense. But, um... I did fall asleep at, like, 9 yesterday, which is also not very normal for me, so... Seems like it's a thing. But I was tired yesterday, too, before I overslept. <sighs> In any case, so today, actually, yes, thank you, Mueller. Mueller uh, gifted it to me this morning, so I suppose I can see it in my future. How long is that game? How long does it take to finish it? Four hours yesterday. So maybe we'll do a stream dedicated to it sometime soon, or two. Uh, here, let me get a picture reference of what I'm trying to make today. Ish. What ish? <laughs> trying to make today. Where'd it go? Hang on. How's it going? Weird. Something's weird with this image, but okay, this should work. Yep. All right, so this is... Um... A general direction I'm going in today with what I'm gonna try to make. I'm not a hundred percent sure how I'm going to do it. Uh, <laughs> I have a headband and some flowers, and then we're gonna try to make it work. That's just that's just what it is. Interesting. Well, that's not the exact goal. That's a that's a general inspo reference situation, right? I'm not making this exact headdress, but this is the general idea. This is a traditional Ukrainian flower headdress. So that's what we're trying to make. Um, I have some fake flowers and I have my trusty glue gun and I think that should do it let me see let me see what I have <laughs> nowadays on national holidays, back in the day, like all the time. <laughs> all right, so I have this pack of marigolds. I think that's what it is. Or as we call them back home, Chornobrevsky. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yep, these are the marigolds. So I have a pack of that. I have this thing of roses, which I only need the heads for, but... You know. These kind of smell. Well, anyway, I got these roses. And, uh, they're a little squashed. Slightly squashed. They don't smell too good. Not like real roses. <laughs> I have these two branches are like random yellow leaves yellow leaf branches just to fill it out maybe we'll see i have the headbands in question i have some sunflower heads long zip ties to support the structure of this whole thing. I have red beads just in case I want to make like necklaces too. I have some little assorted baby flowers in case I see spots that need some filling. I have some wheat like actual real wheat and um, I have these the mums I guess they're called <laughs> so that's that's what you know that's what we're doing now that's a lot of shit so I'm gonna put it back for now. Wait, where did the zip ties go? Oh, here they are. So, I don't know if it's gonna be able to even like Sit straight on my head after I put all that weight on it, but we'll uh, cross that bridge when we get there. <laughs> so let me show you a little trick of how to make a supportive base for a headdress that you can then add to. I think we're going to take this brown one. Let me see how well it sits. Hold on decent, I think. Oh, actually, hold on, hold on too decent. Now I can't take it out. Da, na ruskom to Ah, okay, well that one stays. We're gonna make this one. <laughs> okay got it um so that's a very good uh hairband <laughs> i'm gonna get rid of these we're gonna put them here for now so oh but these are too close to each other Ooh, that's a problem we'll see Jesus Christ. Thank you, Opera. Yes, I would like them to be a little bit more rigid than they are. Oh, 
Ooh. <laughs> Try not to take your eye out. So I'm gonna have to glue it in place because I can't quite get that tight, um, which will make it a little bit better. Now I'm just gonna put a whole bunch of these on this headband and hope it gives me a base to glue stuff on. Yeah, something like that. See, this one's sitting in place a little bit tighter because there's uh, these spikes to hold it in place. I'm not gonna braid my hair. This it's not about my hair, it's about this thing I'm trying to make. Yeah. It should be doable though, I think. There. Basically, we're gonna add a whole bunch of zip ties to this thing, and then that should give us a skeleton, if you will, to then add more stuff to it. So then I think I'm gonna put those uh, two yellow branches, I'm gonna like spread them out a little and glue them on, on top of these. Hey, thank you for the raid, Rain. How you doing, buddy? We got, we got, we got a few hats. We got a few hats going on. Uh, I'll go ahead and switch us back to the <laughs> regular you, mode. Try on some hats, and then we're gonna move on to Crisis. Let's see. Can you read it for me? And then once we have those yellow branches on top of it, we will also... Thank you, Bender. What's up? I'm good. We will also add the flowers and more leaves and whatnot and the wheat. And hopefully, all together, that will look nice and work. Because ideally, I would like to use this headdress for an upcoming shoot I have. I have backup options too, so if this doesn't work, no biggie. But I figured I'ma try. Uh, see the picture in the corner here, Rain? This is what we're trying to make. <laughs> I'm the wheat, okay, sure. I don't mind being the wheat, I guess. This is actually a traditional Ukrainian headdress, but something like that, yes. <laughs> Do you want to bet that once I make this headdress, my niece is going to be like, can I also take pictures of it? <laughs> happening with my shirt. <laughs> Hi Camia.
I might put cardboard on top of the zip ties, but we'll see. If they can't support stuff by themselves, because I don't want I don't want to make it too heavy either. Because if I make it too heavy, I'm gonna have to build a construction to for it to go around my head. Um, for it to stay on, and I don't really want to have to make it more complicated than it has to be. I do have some cardstock, cardstock, if I have to, but I would rather not. Rain experimentation is how you were made too, so. <laughs> Not saying that you and AIDS have a lot in common, but you know. <laughs> um, I can't really talk about it here, Rob, but it's for my stuff. So, with these two edge ones, I have to add a little bit more glue to them because there's no spike to hold them in place. But this is the, <laughs> the general idea so far. See, this should give us kind of like a base skeleton to <laughs> add to. Funnily enough, it also allows me to catch some radio waves. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right. So, let me get my hair out of my way. Stupid sweater! <laughs> Keeps writing up. Right, right. <laughs> so now, my intention is to fuck around with these. If I spread them out like so, see, and kind of apply them on top of these spikes, this will add a little more base and body my stuff and I think I might be able to actually take this apart let me see no it does not count as a hat because it is not in fact a hat it is a hat it is a head dress it's not a hat And this <laughs> All right. Oh, well, that's
I need a bigger desk. <laughs> Okay. All right. Something like that. We'll find out if it works or not. Come on now. Time to go trash. There we go. Очень странный вопрос, когда вверху написано имя канала. Как считаешь? Surely shaping up, I think. Hey, thank you, Georgie, for continuing your sub. How you doing? Thank you, Georgie. We are going to be making a stuffed spaghetti squash this Friday. So, uh... That one's going to be quite delicious. Highly recommend if you haven't had it. Okay. Look. Happy National Moon Landing Day. Oh, damn. Happy National Moon Landing Day. I suppose. That's a pretty big deal. Weren't they gonna go again sometime soon? sure that we don't break the <laughs> headband in the process of making this beautiful uh, art piece. So far, so good. So obviously right now I'm just bending some um, wires around my zip ties and once I crack out the glue gun I'm gonna reinforce all of that stuff with some glue. But for now, I mean look. I 
I think it's gonna work, guys. I think we might uh, have something good here. Что-то делаю своими руками, готовлю. Зависит от настроения, наверное. Мы только закончили Horizon. Вот там сзади меня. Я сейчас работаю над косплеем по этой игре. Над костюмом Алой. So yeah, I'm thinking if Stray is a short game, then we will probably do a stream dedicated to it, like a longer stream dedicated to just finishing that game, maybe in one go, if I have enough patience. <laughs> um, probably next week, my guess would be. I don't blame you. I'm a little sleepy myself today. I don't know why. Like another one of these, <sighs> and we'll save the rest for filling out. We'll save the rest for filling out more spots um, later in the game. situate some flowers on top I might want to put some of these leaves in the foreground more because this is kind of going to be more of a backing yes I have I actually like that movie a lot so let me open up this wheat and see what this gives us 
How do I do this without damaging it? <coughs> yep. It is. I didn't find any fake wheat. So we're working with real stuff. And it's getting everywhere. I love that. So. I just want to see what I'm trying to do here. If I just lay it out in like, like two bits here and then two bits here. I don't know, is it going to work with the glue gun? I guess we'll find out. if I had any. probably do more than two. See, wheat is kind of gentle. rig a couple of bunches and see what that does for me. but not like super. Again, right now I'm just kind of fixing it in place with some of these wires that have these on them and whatnot. But, uh, once I get to the glue gun stage of this, I will um, fix it more permanently in place.
Assuming the glue gun works on dry wheat. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't. I actually have some other dry plant stuff, like this kind of stuff, but different uh, in the other room, so I might add more later. Why'd you decide to say that randomly, Cameo? <laughs> that just made me self-conscious. What would happen to the wheat? You think it's gonna s burst in fire? <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, I haven't really gone to conventions. I've gone to like one Comic Con before, but I haven't really gone to conventions properly. I might go to TwitchCon. In October, in which case I will wear my Aloy cosplay, which presumably will be done by then. It better be. <laughs> better be done by then. Dobro večera. Again, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't entirely know what I'm doing. I'm kind of moving an instinct, but that's just how I roll in general. So we'll figure it out. I'm sure we'll, we'll uh, figure it out. See, for now, I'm just literally using the wires of the decor I got to put on this thing <laughs> to fix wheat in place. And it's kind of working. Like, obviously, it's not very stable, but, you know. It's doing something. Yeah, it's not bad. There's probably a better way to do this, no doubt, but, uh, as I said, we're kind of figuring it out as we go. <laughs> yeah, I should have extra wheat. Should be fine. Okay. It's like somehow there's a bigger distance between this and that. Whatever. Yeah. I should have plenty of extra weed actually.
And as I said, we're not really going for the exact replica of what you see in that picture. It's more of a general direction and a reference. Um, so I don't know if I'm going yet. I did book a hotel just in case, but that is, you know, I can still cancel it. So that is not a hundred percent. It will depend on a few things. Plus it's in October, so. I don't really know if I'll be able to swing it. there and I haven't broken any wheat so far um <laughs> I'm very new to creating cosplay so so far I guess probably my mystique has been my biggest one but again I haven't really made that many cosplays to begin with Aloy the one I'm working on now is going to be by far the most difficult thing I've ever made pretty sturdy too. I wonder if I can somehow use them for structure. We'll see. So, 
I were to somehow yeah I might have to I might have to do a cardboard on the back of this just so that I can fix it all kind of in one spot but generally speaking we're gonna just lay out some flowers real quick to see what we're trying to do here see what's happening Definitely move it up a little. Like around here. roses I have but that should be enough for the whole thing yeah laying it out I'm not really making it making it because I'm gonna have to crack out the glue gun to do that and then everything might go very wrong at that point <laughs> but hopefully not You're gonna have to read my book to find out. <laughs> Now, hopefully a lot sooner than that. I don't know if I have enough patience to live another 10 years. <laughs> 
We'll see. Uh, okay, yeah, that's, that's looking pretty good. That's kind of cute, I think. And we'll add little baby ones in places. And then maybe some of these. Yeah, now I just have to figure out how to put this all together. Documentary, eh? Yeah, something like this. Yeah, I think this is looking hella cute, actually. Check it out. Ooh, wow. See? Cute, right? <sighs> I don't know what to do now, though. <laughs> Obviously, we're gonna have to start with the upper layers.
pretty crowded in here. Yeah, I will. Whew, how we doing, chat? Well, the beads are for the necklace, not for the headpiece. Kind of hot. Or maybe I'm just nervous about <laughs> blue gunning this thing. It's only 74 degrees. <sighs> nice. Performing somewhere? Recording. That's fun. Don't forget to share it on Discord. <laughs> um, probably the boys, the new season of the boys. The weed is fine with it. All right. Let's fucking go. Try not to glue my fingers to this thing. That'd be good if I didn't. If I didn't glue my fingers. Or at least not all of them. So I can keep some maybe. That would be good.
just have to like hold it until it cools down a little, which uh, takes some time. Without burning my finger! <laughs> it's a hot glue gun and it's burning my fingers. That bastard. Damn bastard. JK, don't be mad at me, just work, please. Thank you. Please don't be a bitch. Wait. All right, there we go. Probably be a little bit easier if I just. <laughs> Boom. Yep. A lot easier. <laughs> yep, he's a shot. Insisting on giving me trouble. There we go. I said to make sure I attach all the wheat first. Which I'm more or less doing. Then, once I'm done with that, I can start attaching flowers.
a piece of shite. Stick together, I said. Be nice. Yeah, right, Jessica. I've heard you play. This piece of wheat really attached to the napkin, which is fantastic. Experiment has been successful. Geek. That's fun. You for real? Yep, you are for real. Ah, oh, it's I just have two more piles of wheat to glue, but I have to wait for these to dry first. <laughs> yeah, why? Glue gun is not very smelly. So I'll be okay. Damn. I do have pretty good air ventilation. I'll be okay. Also, I've used this glue gun for quite a while. I don't think, <laughs> okay. I'm not about to go sniff glue, right? But I don't think glue is that highly toxic that you can't even be near it. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> All right. So the wheat is more or less attached. Now we shall start attaching the flowers. How are we going to do that, you ask? No fucking clue. Kind of like that, I guess.
we gonna glue the flowers? No fucking glue. <laughs> no fucking glue. Yeah. I'm just trying to attach him to anything in proximity and hoping it sticks. Sticking to something. I don't know how well it's gonna hold. <laughs> but we'll find out, I guess. No, I think she used it as a hairspray or whatever. I don't think that was a prank soup. I think that was a very real dumb lady. A very real dumb lady. Recall reading about her having to get rushed to the hospital and whatnot. time indeed just glowing some flowers on a very unreliable construction but see they're kind of attaching to each other as well as whatever's around them so it's working out I think I think it's working out. No. That's not the kind of cases I wanna do anyway. I wanna serve justice when justice needs to be served. I don't wanna like litigate for idiots. She is probably going to get a compensation, however. Mostly because for a large company it is easier to settle was, you know, medical bills or whatever and a little bit in damages rather than have to prove that they're not the idiot here. <laughs> because when it comes to the product and manufacturing, um, there's something called strict liability in the US law actually. So, not that she had much of a case, but assuming her lawyer would be able to argue that it does not say not to use it as a hairspray, <laughs> um, she could actually get them to pay out.
There are only a few areas in which there's strict liability in the US law when it comes to stuff like that. And consumer protection is one of those. Well, no, not technically, APRO. It has to do with reasonable use, right? So, um, for example, if she stuck glue up her vagina, that'd be no reasonable use. However, in a very weird and stupid way, one could argue that trying to glue down her baby hairs or whatever, glue down her baby hairs, is a reasonable use for glue. Which, I mean, obviously it's not. But again, if you have a good lawyer. <sighs> anyway. Like, they don't, they're not obligated to warn you about every single way you're not supposed to use their product. They're just supposed to warn you about the ways that you might think is reasonable to use it, but it's not, you know? If that makes any sense to you. <laughs> right, well that's what I'm saying. Many, many, many things are completely stupid to do and yet good lawyer can win a lot of uh, stupid cases if they argue the case correctly. Now, I'm not saying that she would win the case. In all likelihood, she probably wouldn't, but there is a tiny little possibility that she could uh, get a good lawyer and get gorilla in trouble, <laughs> which is why they would probably settle out of court even though the chances were slim. Okay. <laughs> Do not glue it to the mat. There we go. It's not glued to the mat. That is a win, fellas. <laughs> I'm a weirdo? Hey, I'm not the one who gorilla glued my hair. Although the night is young, so who knows? <laughs> Cause you know, it is gorilla. Yeah, something, something deleted messages something something non-existent emails <laughs> oh that's funny do you have some kind of a magical gorilla glue remover available to you at all times just in case nickelodeon taught me that people that work at gorilla factory have it <laughs> For the record, I realized that that's probably just Nickelodeon's fantasies. Ha <gasps> ha! Hot glue on my finger! <laughs> nah, it's all good. It was just a little smidge. As long as it's not like a lot of glue, not a big deal. Once it's a lot of glue, it hurts. <laughs> Like a motherfucker, on my ad. Okay. Well, so far so good, fellas. 
The real test will be if I'll be able to put it in my head. <laughs> After all the work. Obviously, since it's gonna be used in pictures, worst case scenario, I'll just hold it with my hand. Because it doesn't have to, like, stay very strongly. I just have to be able to somewhat wear it. <laughs> No, no. Promise you my fingers are gonna be okay. Well, most of them anyway. Most of my fingers are going to be okay. <laughs> Do not fall, hot glue gun. I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm trying to find it with my finger. And that, my friends, Thank you, Rika. Night, night. Is how you get burned. Okay. These are all attached. This one's still drying. We shall begin the next step, which will be the roses. Right? Yeah, it's the roses. The ring, the ring finger is pretty, is pretty useless. I don't know. I like all my fingers. Like obviously, I like some of them more than others. Like for example, my thumbs are pretty awesome. They're pretty useful, you know. I can do a lot of stuff with them. Gently. Gently. Okay. Pinky toe! 
allows you to have better balance, my man. I promise you, no part of you is useless. <laughs> you need them all for a full experience. Thank you, Rain. What are we done done dunning about? <laughs> Welcome back. How you doing? How's your night going today? Good, I hope. This sweater is riding up non-stop. Okay. them out and pre-cut them. It's okay. I have more. No, it's not chilly at all. I am sweating my balls off. I was just, I was saying earlier, I feel a little, not like sick, but strange. Like, maybe sick, you know? Um, which is why I was cold a little bit earlier and I wore a sweater. But now, I'm not cold at all. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, oh, actually, it is 75 right now. Hi, right, cool down pretty quick. The roses are on. Woohoo! Gonna 
I put a couple of leaves in there just for a little bit of a decor situation. Okay, beautiful. These are good. The next up is the white bebes. Yes. No. Uh, you do. I have around 30 different headshots for different characters. Not just comedy and drama, but also, you know, maybe this one's like a young scientist, and this one is a hoe, and this one is like the. Uh, Hoity toity love interest, and this one is the artist type, and this one is dramatic Eastern European, and you know, it's like all of those looks are different headshots because when casting is looking for an actor to fill the role, they're first and foremost looking for like a, a vibe, right? Like a look and a vibe before they even consider your acting talent or whatever. Um, so you have to kind of give yourself better chances by having all these different headshots. Because if you help them see you as that character, you have a better chance of getting an audition. Speaking of which, I have an audition I have to complete tomorrow or Friday. Probably Friday. Did that guy ever get back to me? ADR session tomorrow for a movie I did back in April, I guess it was. What is? Oh, the, the audition is a movie. It's not a TV show.
little bit heavy. Let's see if it works when we're done with it. More glue. Thanks. Yep. This is what they're supposed to look like, yes. Obviously the modern versions are a lot less dramatic. Unfortunately, we lost our pizzazz. <laughs> yeah. All right. Hmm. How's that? I'm not gonna put it on my hair yet because I don't want to get Gorilla Glue in my hair. But what do we think? Cute, right? I'm gonna add more wheat up on the perimeter because um, it's a little bold up top <sighs> but first we're gonna let it dry For now, while it's drying though, we can make a little necklace perhaps. <sighs> yeah, I might. I might do that as well. I want to let the main part of it dry first before I get in there any further. It's about the right length. Um, no, увидим, если будет повод. There should be a better way to do this. Mm -hmm. Specifically these like large red beads for some reason.
Ukraine in general has a very um, colorful, in a good way, culture. Traditional clothing is all embroidered and like all the different colors and the embroidery means like every type of swoop to doop on the embroidery means things and was used as like a magical way to protect yourself or to like you know get fertility or whatever um flowers and the flower headdresses were often used and like weeds and whatnot were often used also as like a magical thing and um widely worn um all kinds of jewelry Scythians were some of the first like gold jewelers that did some crazy shit. Like look up Scythian pectoral, I think it's called. It was crazy. And then, what else do we do? The pissum key, which is like those eggs that are done for Easter were also painted in every which way and crazy and the patterns of them also had like magical meaning basically or spiritual meaning if you will <laughs> shoot there should be a better way to do this but i don't think it will fit in the needle this is like a rubber thingy Oh, let me see. Will you fit in the needle or no? I don't think you will. Oh, never mind. I made it fit. Not much, what's up with you? Just crafting some stuff. Hey, thanks for the raid, Jessica. Can we shout him out? Well, you can shout out yourself, Jessica, actually. You are a mod, after all. What would you like to vote on? Rain. So. I'm I'm confused. What was the clip? Close up of your eyes. All I saw was the Elden Ring logo. Almost down with the necklace, and then we're gonna go back to the hat piece. Alright. Yeah, that's good.
Might be enough to make another one even. Boom. <laughs> Easy peasy. All right. Let's see this motherfucker. Funnily enough, it stays, more or less. <laughs> Thank you, Soup. <laughs> Good night. I mean, it is pretty heavy, yeah, but again, I don't have to like run around in it. I just have to post for pictures. And funnily enough, this headband kind of works. So now I just want to add more wheat to the back of it. Because I still have a whole bunch. See you, Dennis. So what if I do this? Just make it kind of stay in a row like that and dry that way. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Come on, dry bitch, dry. Oh, the hype train is closed. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna let you dry right here. Just get a nice row of wheat. I don't know, Rain, what's what's going on? Boston Thank you, Afro. Thank you, Jessica, me too. Me too. Welcome, Raiders. Hey, guys, if you don't follow Leela, please check her out. She's also Ukrainian. I am making a, a traditional Ukrainian headdress, or trying to. <laughs> Hello, Shrummer. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to clean up my room after this all is said and done. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. I'm trying to glue some more wheat onto this thing. In fact. Because I think that would look good. If there was more wheat. back for five minutes and you're already trying to get him to crank some things never change kind of difficult to glue on things because well it's uh porous and doesn't comply with my requirements very well <laughs> and then final touches on the front with some more little flowers and maybe a couple leaves and I think we're uh, done and I'll actually show you the look if you want I think I have it here wow 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 not on, not on twitch fellas I have nothing against ass play, trust me, but uh, not on my channel, please. I'm trying to not get banned. <laughs> something I don't know rain I mean I know it's been a little while since I've been to your channel but Hasn't changed that drastically. <sighs> Stay. Stay. Stay, you mother. So I hope I have enough wheat for the whole thing. I might not, so we're going to start this side.
because I do have some other, uh, what do you call them? We call them koski, but I don't know what you call them in English, I forget. They look like this, but they're not wheat. <laughs> Maybe. Dobra, rozmawiamy w ukraińsku. Toż ja robię winok. Wien trochę intensywny. A na razie namagałeś przykleić tę pszenicę. Co mi nie trochę daje problemu. Tu muszę jej ciężko kleić. Ona... Ona toneńka i nie kleić to dużo dobre. Ale to nic strasznego, rozbieramy się. Я трохи здивована, що ця штука взагалі працює, тому що я, як, як зазвичай, не знала, що я роблю взагалі. Але щось воно зробилось. Моя ніч йде добре, що ви? Make sure I don't sit on these. They won't like it. Stop burning my fingers, that would be fantastic. Are you alright there, Jessica? What the, what's going on?
Never I hope, geek. Jessica, are you gonna do anything about this? Are you gonna defend your name? Protect your, uh, what do you call it? Dignity? <laughs> What you call it, dignity? I was gonna say, have you seen that picture of Robert Downey Jr. versus Chris Hemsworth with their children? I think we might be able to Google the specific picture I'm talking about. Said it bad, Jess. Actually, for the whole thing. off and jabbed me with hot glue right in my finger. Right in my finger. What's up, chat? Wow, Jessica, that dramatic, huh? there. The weed is the most annoying part of this, honestly. Because it's fragile and it's hard to glue. But it's going to make for a pretty cool headdress. I can tell. I can tell that it's going to look pretty good. Stop it, stupid. Okay.
Just a couple more. Good. I'm gonna keep a couple. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> a rose stream I'm too nice for that see I'm naturally very kind so it's kind of difficult for me to roast people because ah pretty dope pretty dope Hope it doesn't glue to the thing. It should not. <laughs> yes. What? Would you like to object to what I just said? Object at your own risk, fella. <laughs> Just saying. It's not a threat. I'm too nice for threats. <laughs> oh, is that so?
sorry. <laughs> Are we coming back to Reddit? Uh, Reddit is Discord anytime soon? Rain? Thank you. 
Should be in the settings. I've been hurt worse. I think this is good. I think I got plenty of stuff going. So now it shall dry. And I shall show you my look. I think. Still here, I'm just changing. This is actually gonna be the first time I see the look too, because it just arrived. The stuff just arrived today. Maybe something like that, right? Like this gauzy creation. Yeah. Fluffy, right? I'm gonna have that. And I'm gonna have this. Which, hang on. One moment. What are the chances? Oh, I did get a blister from a burn. Fun. You're a dandelion in a preschool play. I'm a motherfucking queen. Oh, there's a... <laughs> Right? Whee. I think it came out pretty nice. I'm pretty freaking big. See, I put some baby flowers randomly around and some separate leaves. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. I'm pretty happy with it. It's pretty intense, but I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, and I'm gonna make a skirt out of this. Uh, it's 10 yards of, um, whatchamacallit. Uh, you know what, this. So if you bunch it up, it looks a little more blue, I guess. I also have some yellow and blue silk to play with too, but I don't wanna unpack it right now. Two, yes, thank you. So yeah, that's the headpiece. Pretty intense, eh? Well, all right, let me wrap this up. Let me take this off. <sighs> and wrap this up. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Frosty. Obviously, I'm gonna be wearing like makeup and whatnot, but you know. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't allow raids. I can't raid her. Thank you, Les. So, thank you guys for supporting the stream today. I appreciate you. Thank you for following, chatting, subbing, gifting, cheering, hanging, and witnessing my first attempt at making a head a headdress, like a big one. Uh, I think it came out pretty cool looking, and as long as it survives the shoot, that's all I need from it. But, uh, it's actually quite sturdy. It's just heavy. This needs to be steamed or something. Uh, cheers. It's quite sturdy. Um, I will probably be back tomorrow, and tomorrow we'll be making, um, more bits and pieces to Aloy cosplay. Um, otherwise, thank you guys for hanging out. If you were gifted a sub or sub today, make sure to get on my Discord by syncing your Discord and your Twitch. And we are going to... Should I just come? I was gonna write Toast. I guess I could write Alba. Yeah, I was showing the outfit I have for the shoot. Uh, I just have to iron the flaps. All right, all right. We'll check them out. So go say hi to Alba, and I hope to see you guys tomorrow. Um, or Friday if I don't make it tomorrow. I should. But I do have the ADR, so I don't know what time is that and how long that's going to take. But, uh... Yeah, thank you guys and good night. <laughs>